I recently acquired this certification or shall we call it just a badge? This is AWS Authorized Instructor or AAI. So let me check. I'm already Certified Cisco System Instructor or CCSI, F5 Certified Trainer and Arista Certified Trainer. Yes, and now I am AAI or AWS Authorized Instructor. And I'm proud of it, you know, as many people criticize me. They say I can only deliver hardware-based and legacy technologies. Vendors like Cisco, F5, and Arista. Legacy technologies such as STP or Spanning Tree Protocol. Well, I have now my AAI. Again, AWS Authorized Instructor. Yeah, it's not hardware-based. It's actually cloud service provider related. And when you say cloud, it consists of servers, storage, networking, security, containerization, serverless, and lots of application related services. And it's quite challenging, you know, as not too many Cisco network engineers can easily shift to cloud engineering. I'm here now in AWS Authorized Instructor Program page or AAI. And uh, let's see how to become an AWS Authorized Instructor or AAI. So when you say AAI, these are instructors who are authorized to deliver official AWS curriculum. And let's look at the program benefits. So we have four students. I'm going to skip this. Um, I'm more interested this for instructors. So what are the AAI's benefits? So AIs will get exam vouchers. This is for free. What else? Console credits and mentorship and many others as reward of being part of the AAI community. They also get to advertise their participation in this industry recognized program. Um, they will also get to the AAI digital batch. Now, what are the qualifications? How do we really um, become AAI? Well, first, the minimum qualification you need to have an active AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. And after that, you need to find a sponsor. So individuals joining the program need to be sponsored by AWS training partner. So my training partner is Lumify. They're the company or the training company who sponsored my AAI. Now, for those who are not familiar with Lumify, they are the, um, they used to be called the DLS or Dimension Data Learning Solutions. Anyway, so once you find a partner, excuse me, a sponsor, um, they will um, be added you in the AA, AAI candidates. So you are now registered. Once you are registered, you will receive an access to library of exclusive contents and um, what else? Um, also lab access. So you ha we will have all of the materials to prepare for the ICA or the Instructor Candidate Authorization. So AAIs are evaluated in groups over multi-day exam. Um, I'm not sure it's multi-day. What I remember for me, at least for me, it's just one day. And during the session, they are evaluated on their knowledge of the official curriculum as well as their skills to deliver live and efficient courses. All right, so let's look at the badges. So again, AAI communities, excuse me, AAI communities made up of instructors with unique backgrounds and wide range of experience in the cloud and in the classroom. Okay, so this is my badge. This is what I have now. This is acquired by internal or partner technical instructors who are authorized to deliver AWS curriculum. Now, I may get this AWS authorized um, instructor champion or AAI champion. This is after delivering a minimum of 15 distinct AWS course days and holds specialty or professional AWS uh, certification. And lastly, um, this is the AAI mentor, excuse me, AAI mentor. Um, this is acquired by AAI champions who received the mentor nomination and attended the AAI mentor program training and passed the subsequent assessment. I just want to talk about my AAI preparation experience. So first off, unlike other instructor program in AWS, you're not required to attend a live classroom training. You are, however, 
required to complete or AWS Instructor Enablement courses online. You can also attend AAI candidate session during your preparation. And this will give you an idea on how to prepare for the actual ICA, the Instructor Candidate Authorization. So consider the ICA or the ICA as the Instructor Exam. It's one day long session, consists of two parts, presentation and the troubleshooting. Here's my experience with the ICA or the Instructor Candidate Authorization. Basically, you are asked to present one hour of the topic of their choice. So you have to prepare for all of the modules as you don't know what you're gonna get. You're only given, again, one hour. One hour only, no extensions. And after the presentation, there will be an AWS troubleshooting lab exam. These are in a WebEx session together with other AAI candidates. And yeah, when you present, other candidates are also there. So you, they will see or hear you. They can also ask you questions. But during the troubleshooting, there will be no other candidates but yourself. And after the ICA or the ICA, you will receive a report with scores. The scores are based on your teaching delivery. So the scoring based on your clarity, confidence, technical knowledge, how you manage the class, etc. And on the report, you will get the result pass or fail and luckily i did pass let's have a verdict it's time to rate this certification or batch so first exam content so i passed the aws certified solutions architect associate a couple of years ago already and after preparing for the ica i learned even more cloud related concepts so based on the contents of aws certified solutions architect associate alone is already five stars next relevance to current technology we're talking about aws the largest cloud service provider and not just cloud technology we're talking about here this includes security machine learning and ai devops iot and many others and you will never go wrong with aws so i will give this five next value for money you know what i didn't pay for anything and uh, i have already all of the access to aws certification library and i can play this aws gamifications such as cloud quest industry quest etc again i didn't pay for anything of course i will give it five star next market demand the demand for aws instructor hmm, um i don't know yet but based on connections and friends they said they had more AWS training deliveries back in 2015 to 2021. Um, I would expect that training business, I think, slowed down a little after pandemic. So I still don't know, but for now, I will give it four. Do you agree with my ratings?